Hey guys, so I want to show an example of how to uh, buy or, or like basically trade stocks using ChatGPT arms. So I just created a new arm is what I'm calling them, uh, which is basically hooks up to TD Ameritrade and it can do stuff. So just so you can see, uh, so here's, uh, this is just a local setup I have. Um, so the, here's ChatGPT basically talking and I'm going to ask it, um, what is some tests? Tesla news today and now it will hook into the basically the the trading arm here and give me some news so you know this is news that's uh, happening today or it might actually be from this past weekend uh, a couple days ago because it's uh, the weekend it's Saturday today but just to get an idea um, so let's see, uh, let me ask you, is, so it basically pulls in some news about Tesla. The format's still not great, but just wanna show off the idea. Is that good news or bad news? So let me just, uh, okay, it doesn't wanna give me an idea. It doesn't wanna, doesn't really wanna help me, but that's okay. Um, let's say, well, Will that help the stock price or hurt it? <laughs> See if it will give me. Difficult to determine. Go research and sort of positive, neutral. Well, anyways, let's say it ends up being good news, and I, you know, it, it can analyze the news that comes back, which is cool. It's kind of what I'm trying to show off. So, um, let's say I want to buy it. So I'll just do buy uh, two shares of Tesla. Uh, okay, so just bought two shares of Tesla. So I can see my TD Ameritrade account, if I refresh it, there it is. Uh, it just placed an open order for Tesla. So it's Saturday night, so uh, it, uh, it won't, uh, TD Ameritrade won't actually fill this order until the morning. But anyways, just wanted to show off uh, kind of how it works and I want to show some magic here so this is cool um, this is where the kind of the magic happens when it comes to the chat GPT arms you can see like it's not there's all sorts of ways we could ask about getting the news or telling it to buy shares and so rather than just using like traditional heuristics which we do in programming all the time you can actually use chat GPT to parse, kind of parse out the um, the quit the what the conversation into something that you can use. So you can see this example. This is what I'm passing. It says parse the following. Make this bigger so you can see it. Parse the following sentence uh, into JSON of this structure. So I'm telling it to parse it into a structure. So the user intent. This is the important piece. Right now, the TD Ameritrade uh, arm only has basically it can only do two things. Uh, it can either search news or it can buy stocks. So I'll add more. So it'll be like um, buy stocks, sell stocks, um, you know, get uh, get stock quotes. But that will always be the user intent. And then I can use that in the code to be like, okay, are they trying to do something that this arm cares about? Um, again, and then it can also parse out the company name. So it'll pull the company name and then it automatically is translating the company name to the ticker. Like I never told it to buy uh, TSLA, the ticker. I just said Tesla. And then also the amount of shares. So this, I should probably add in some, uh, you know, some validation before it does the buys. Right now it's just buying. But uh, it could be a little dangerous if it gets any of these things wrong. But it seems to be pretty good so far. So. We'll see, but it's really rudimentary. But uh, if anyone wants to, to uh, check ChatGPT arms out, there's a GitHub and you can create your own arm or contribute to any of the arms. It's all open source, which is, I think, is super helpful because, you know, you can, you can create any arm and do anything you want with it. There's not going to be any limitations. Uh, like when, when I'm trading with TD Ameritrade, I have to uh, basically put in some uh, my API credentials for my account. Uh, so I can just do that in the dot environment file. But so that's how that works. Um, just wanted to show it off a little bit. Thanks. Bye for now.